So, we're resting here. Um, turning in for the night. It's all a little new to me, I admit. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. I'm in no place to rest yet. Today has been a lot. I need some time to think things through, to process this. You sleep, I'll keep watch. The pleasure is all mine. Sweet dreams. A monster forms inside us, yet you waste time with idle chatter. Do you suppose the parasites inside us dare to rest? that the Geich do not still pursue us with each peal of the bell. Take your rest. I will stand watch. Should a single tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. Go to hell. You're a good sport. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial, it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. That's the spirit. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. What were you two talking about? You and the pale fellow. Fine. Just don't expect my confidence if I don't have yours. And just to be clear, come daybreak, finding a healer is our first priority. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. As you writhe with sickly dreams, a deep dread floods you. Though you have a tadpole, you know your broken mind is not like the others who bear the worm. A few scraps of the past come back to you now and then, but you can never quite tell where the knowledge comes from. Inexplicable, violent yearnings overwhelm all other thoughts. Who could you possibly be to be their vessel? Huh. You look rabid. Pained. Sick. You're spasming and twitching. The poor thing. The norm is to keep dirty thoughts like that to ourselves, but do carry on. It seems you've been dealt a vile hand. I say, play it. Play it for all it's worth. Nobody should deny themselves their true nature. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! I 
the nine hells! Open the gates! <coughs> Blade and suffer its sting. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too. Unbelievable! We lost him back at the ruins. Old place is crawling with gobos. He trusted you. Nobody forced him to go with us. He insisted. And when things got tough, he couldn't keep up. Simple as that. My God, you're a coward. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Turning your back on the needy to save your own skin? Maybe we'll get along after all. I understand. I can only thank you for the help you've already given. If you'll excuse me, I'd best get my people moving. This squirrel might be the single most adorable creature you can recall in all your stunted memory. It would be ever so twee if it were climbing a tree. Do you always take on such terrifying foes? You stare at the body before you. You have no idea what just happened. Swirling bile cauldron of your brain is cooking up a poison stew. Stop! This place is off limits! Leave! 
in a secluded place all alone. It would be too easy to do away with her, far beneath your talents. You note her grimace of pain. Something is wrong with her legs. Damn it! Don't... Don't look at me like that! You can stay. Just keep your hands to yourself, all right? I'd just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a foal's. Bloody potion! The symphony already plays in your head, every toe snapping like a twig. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Your mind wonders. If the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth, would she taste the metal before she died? Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Oh, I'll bless you, all right. Here it comes, you little beast. That goblin won't be the last. It was wrong. It was justice. Or the start of it. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. Thanks, Mum. Now please do feck off. Them devils ain't local. They're refugees. Fella who runs this place offered him shelter. Aye. His name's Halsin. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract. To track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. <laughs> Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. It's called the Night Song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn, and you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> We need to get out. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. 
That's not right. Breaking into druid chambers to steal a sacred relic. Oh, she sounds like fun. And you should bugger off. Now. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, get back. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what? Wrath. A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You have milked their poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Now, Wrath. No. Ithias. Tila, to me. Gone. By the gods, Korga, what have you done? Bury the remains. Continue the rite. And the parents? They're just outside. This outsider will take word once I've spoken to her. We must focus on the rite. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile when pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Ugh. Change? No. Damn it! No. I'm moments away from a grisly death at the hands of this bloody song. I can't... Nothing fits, you know? Hmm. It can't hurt. I have her... I have an extra loot, if you want. I'll start from the beginning. We'll take it slow. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Moon reminds me of your grace, all the love I can't repay. Rest and know that I will pray. Farewell, my dear old friend. I'm 
sorry. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse. And make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn. For her. Keep the loot. Please. You've earned it. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. Too sweet. Odiously sweet. The vomitous gall within despairs at your kindness. Make I'm so glad I found... Wait, it's me! It's Althera! From the Grove! I'm sorry for barging in like this, but... I had to come find you. You've... Well... Inspired me. I want to stand on my own two feet. To prove that I can be half the Bardley Hala was. I want to join you. To fight by your side. I want to help people, as you've helped me. I've been running since El Terrell. And when we finally arrived at the Grove, we found danger there too. Unless I hide away from the world, I can't avoid it. So I'd rather face it head on, with you. Really? Just like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Really? Just like that? All right. But if she reaches for that loot, it's firewood. I won't let you down. I promise. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw, and that, love, was that. <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. It's not every day one meets such a cavalier sinner as yourself. A true bloody pleasure. I'm rather the admirer of the sanguine arts, even if I wasn't quite born under a killing moon myself. Shall we withdraw? We have much to discuss, to our mutual satisfaction. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. The House of Hope, where the tired come to rest, 
and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Fair enough. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Because my compassion is boundless, I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. I'll be around. Watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. If we don't know what we're walking into, that bridge will collapse under us. The devil has a plan. He's playing with us. He reminds me of... Well, someone I used to know. Someone I like to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary Mind Flayer parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. Shh! Listen! Your favorite drownings all take place in shallow water. Just a slice of the ankle tendons. A sweet melody beckons you. It vibrates with magic. A harpy's charm. The suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. No, no. It's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Uh, are they gone? They're... they're gone. Now the 
is just Mole. She'll be so mad. I didn't get the gold from the nest. I got to go. Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. <laughs> Believe me, that was a devil's equivalent of serenades and roses. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us badly. I mean, that knowledge lies our opportunity. Conjecture? Yes, that much I concede. But let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. A quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. Fine, but my reasoning is this. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Steel and iron may be no match for him, but a Githyanki knight's silver sword would pierce him through, even amid the fires of Avernus. This is my destiny. I will ride a red dragon. I will wield the sword. And I will conquer every layer of hell should my queen command it. The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase. To penetrate the hells? This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Vlacket's sight pierces the many planes. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Anticipation. She is testing me somehow. About Raphael. Actually, yes, you're right. Very intuitive. Clearly the devil was trying to sow doubt among us. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Perhaps you didn't. See? Sowing doubt is an old trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Interesting. You're hardly alone. Bloodletting is quite popular of late. Though, 
Your twinge of conscience sets you apart from the brigands, monsters, and kill happy fiends of the world. Whatever you think may be compelling you, you may have greater ability to resist it than you realize. Everyone has unseemly thoughts. Being able to quieten them is what sets us apart from the beasts. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your s- The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. That ship sailed the sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I like your thinking. Besides, I watched you fight at the gate. I could use an ally like you. Ready when you are. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Good job. Little ears here far. I'd better take care of this. <laughs> 